All right, G major chord, first finger. Now remember the hand position, cut the fretboard, then move the fretboard back so that you've got a nice small poke of the thumb sticking over the top and your grip is nice and loose. That's where you wanna be. Then with the fingertip of the first finger, you're gonna to go to the second fret on the A string, fret just behind that note, and let's play that note together. Three, two, one. Then you've got your second finger coming in now, and it's gonna go on the third fret on the lowest E string here. Again, just behind the fret. Let's have a listen to that sound. Three, two, one. Should sound something like that. Then, now with the G chord, there's a couple of variations on it, and I'm gonna show you one of them right now. You're gonna use your third finger, and it's gonna go on the high E string on the third fret, so the very thinnest string here. Again, place it just behind the fret, and let's hear that note. Should sound something like that. Let's give it a strum. A beautiful G major chord sounding out there. Now, a couple of common problems. The first finger often mutes the strings below it because in order to get this sort of reach here to get all of these strings in the uh, first finger sometimes dips down and sort of flattens across the other strings which deadens them so you can't really hear them make sure you're just behind the fret on the tip of the first finger and as you bring in the other notes don't let that move around keep it in the same place as you play and place the other fingers more helps, hints and tips on this, it's on the level one course about chord changes, okay? Check it out if you're struggling with fingering these particular chords. So that's the first type of G major chord, there's two more of this. The next one, or variation of this, is using the fourth finger instead of the third finger where this is. So if you introduce the fourth finger, try that one. Totally personal preference, what you prefer to do, whether you use the third or the fourth finger, totally up to you. Don't let it worry, you just choose the easiest one that you find um, for you. The final type of G major chord is as if you're using your fourth finger here, you're gonna introduce a four note chord here. The third finger is gonna be placed down on the third fret on the B string now. So you're gonna have the third fret on the E string here, third fret on the B string, first finger where it was, and the second finger where it was and you get a slightly different, slightly brighter sounding G major chord. So the one before sounded like this. And then the one after. Now what you're doing there is you're changing the notes within the chord. This is a little bit of theory for you. But you're not changing um, the notes of the chord. You're just reordering them. They still contain the same notes if you were to work out each note within this chord you would see that there are just G's, B's and D's which make up a major chord. But you're doing a different voicing of it. Slightly different order of the notes of the chord. So you get a different voicing, different voice, sounds quite nice. That one's used a lot in pop and rock music because um, they're quite like that sort of brighter sound as opposed to the more mellow one. G major chord, done, good job. Remember to introduce this into your chord practicing regime and start incorporating it into changes between all the other chords that you've worked on. The final one is gonna be a C major chord. Now this one, I, I, so I, I like to think of it as steps, sort of going up like this. However you wanna visualize it or remember it, it's up to you. First finger goes on the first fret on the B string here. Let's play that note. Should sound something like that. Second finger goes on the second fret on the D string, just here. Let's hear that sound. And then the final note, the third fret on the A string, here. Let's hear that note. Should sound something like that. Let's give it a strum, and you strum from this third finger. You don't play the lowest string. It's a five note chord there, C major. Okay, common problems actually usually happen from the first finger here. Usually flattens off and mutes the string above it. Make sure that it's pointed on the point. And more, more than any other chord, when you bring in these second and third fingers, make sure that this first finger doesn't move around too much because then you're gonna get in trouble because a lot of people bring in these other fingers and it moves the first finger 
and mutes things off. So again, pick each note of the chord and make sure make sure that each note is ringing out clearly. And if it's not, readjust, trial and error until it does. And again, see the level one course if in doubt. Okay, well done. Good job, guys. You've uh, done a warm-up exercise on this, hopefully building in the synchronization between the two hands, getting used to alternate picking, and you've learned two open position chords all within one part. Now, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to share. Um, if you enjoyed the lesson, head over to your Facebook, tell your family and friends, post a comment on YouTube, even just a small act of subscribing is going to make a big difference to the uh, community and hopefully we can grow and keep the service free and introduce more and more lessons for you guys to, uh, to learn guitar because that's what it's all about. So, I hope you enjoyed it. The next part we're going to be looking at strumming patterns, bringing in some new ideas of strumming that you can bring into the two songs we've learned before and if you head over to the website for the members there, there's the Rex Pearson uh, songbook which is going to be filmed to um, give you ideas of songs and how to play each song, um, as well as more advanced lessons on electric guitar as well. So then head over to the website, got any questions, head over to the forums. If you want to talk to me personally, you can do as a member on the um, chat room. Um, and I'll see you guys over the website or in the next part. See you guys later.